gauges look nice. what's up guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be working on the r32 gtr here and what i plan to do is install all these aem products here now i do have um, the oil pressure gauge i do have the air fuel ratio gauge the true boost x series with the with the controller itself and a water temperature gauge and i'm not sure if i'm going to install the water temperature gauge yet but i do need all the other three now the ones i had in the vehicle before as you can see here, this um, oil gauge is reading at, sorry, that's a terrible gauge. The oil gauge is reading two, even though the car is off. So that's damaged. Uh, my boost gauge is pretty old. All the gauges here are from the 90s or 2000s. So it's time for an upgrade. Now, I did buy a new um, pillar gauge pod here. And for the center, where the vent goes. Now the ones that we have here are the latest X-Series um, AEM controllers or gauges let me know if you guys need any am products i can hook you up with a good deal um but yeah it's pretty much uh, brand new we're gonna wire up everything now all these come with the sensors wiring here we have the true boost gauge x series control this is the latest am product for the boost gauges it comes with the boost controller solenoid and also you can control the uh, boost from the gauge itself so you don't have to have a rotary switch or switch maps with however you're doing it now you could just do it through the gauge itself and yeah the AFR is the latest one as well it updates very quick quicker than the previous models so especially for tuning would be good because you want to catch things instantly and not wait for it to be too late and here we have the water temp gauge I'm still not gonna open this because I'm not sure if I'm gonna install it but I do have it here if I need and yeah let's go ahead and start uh, working on it so for me personally, I watch my boost and AFR a lot, and that's why I'm going to put it on the uh, A-pillar here instead of the vent. And what I'm going to put on the vent is just an uh, oil pressure gauge for now. There's going to be two empty that I'm going to fill on later on, but for now, I'm just going to go with the oil pressure gauge there, uh, boost gauge, and AFR. Now, I personally don't look at the oil pressure a lot. I do check it often, but not every other second. Whereas the AFRs, I always have my eyes on it and the boost, of course, whenever you're uh, driving your hard. But um, I personally, when I put the two up here and the oil pressure down there and then maybe put some other gauges later on, maybe a meth gauge or um, fuel pressure gauge or some sort of gauge that we, I'm sure we'll add something later on. But for now, I'm just going to go with the setup here. Okay, so what I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with the uh, boost gauge first. I'm going to put the boost gauge down there. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the screw. They're both uh, aligned properly. Now I'm going to put the backing plate that comes with the gauge. So the gauges are mounted on the uh, pillar pod and I mounted the oil pressure on the center vent. Um, the other two, I'm going to block it off for now until I add more gauges. What I'm doing right now is I am cleaning up the wiring here. I'm just extending all the lines that I need. I'm looking at a diagram here. And for the air fuel ratio gauge, all the gauges we have the red, which is the power fused with the five amp. Black is ground. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie all these grounds and all these power together. And of course I'll have individual five amps going to each gauge. That way if one gauge blows, it doesn't take the whole system down with it. But I'll share the ground with all three gauges. Um, but if you look here, so far this is the second gauge I'm doing and it seems like it's pretty similar to the oil pressure gauge. The best part about these gauges is it has um, analog inputs, which means you could just tap into your ECU and have your ECU monitor your pressure sensor or your air fuel. You don't have to get additional sensor kits or anything. 
best part about these gauges is it comes with analog input so you can tap them into your ECU and have your ECU monitor the gauge. That way if you wanna you know, log your ECU, your runs, your maps, um, if you wanna do certain functions that's related to your oil pressure, you could do that. So you don't have to buy additional sensor kits. Everything is included already with this advanced X-Series AEM products. Um, so then we have some other lines that we're not going to worry about. They're going out to different outputs. For now, we're just going to do the um, red, which is power, fused 5 amp, and then black ground. And then we're just going to do the white and brown. So as you can see here, what I'm doing right now, this is the oil pressure lines. I'm extending the white and brown, which go to your ECU, which mine is located at the passenger side. Then I have the power, which is going to get fused to a 5 amp. Then I have the ground. Same thing with the air fuel ratio gauge. I have the uh, the white that I'm extending right now. I'm gonna extend the brown that go into the ECU. And then I have black, which is ground, and red, which is fused again to a five amp. So what I'm gonna do for all the gauges, I'm gonna route them all under the radio. I'm gonna individually um, give five amps to every gauge. That way, if one gauge blows out, it doesn't take the whole system with it. I'll have the other gauges running. Um, and I'll share one ground for all gauges. So all I'm doing right now is I'm extending the lines. I'm gonna route them under the... Uh, cover here and under the column and I'm going to go all the way to the center then from the center I'm going to extend my lines to the ECU so let's go ahead and show you what I'm doing so here I have my uh, white line that I'm extending so I got some white lines from my roll I'm going to put it in here and just crimp it Every time you crimp, just give it a nice little tug, make sure it doesn't come out. This case is good. Now I'm gonna extend the brown wire. I don't have a brown wire, so I'm using gray color, but I'll know that. Uh, I'm gonna crimp the first side here. And then I'm gonna get my brown line from my air fuel ratio gauge. Plug it in. And crimp it as well. There we have it. Now what I'm gonna do to make it clean is I'm gonna tie up both these lines together. That way I know I'm extending all the analog input lines to the ECU. So I'm just gonna put some heat shrink tube around it just so they're together because they're not going anywhere else other than the ECU. I'm just gonna use some heat shrink tube, slide it through both lines all the way. And we're just gonna heat it up quick now. So for the oil pressure sensor, I had to go through a bit to make it work in because the sensor is a 1.8 NPT. I had a hard time finding an adapter to go straight into my Grady relocation kit. Um, I tried using either ports, but I couldn't find a direct fitting. So I had them create a custom line for me. It was a pretty expensive line, but I had to get it done. So now I have this loop going around just in case I have to move it somewhere else later. I made it longer, better than short. Um, that way, if, if I want to place it in a specific place or just move it, tuck it inside, I have enough length on the hose. And um, yeah, the connector comes into the sensor itself, and the other side goes into any oil port fitting just to calculate your pressure, which mine is down there. And that's pretty much it. All right, so what I did is I routed all the wires under. For now, they're just dangling and this thing before I wrap it up. They're all coming behind the stereo. I have the wires extended that's going to the ECU from the other side there. So all that's going to get tucked under the dash behind the radio. And technically everything should work right now. I did put the O2 sensor on the tailpipe for now. I need to drill a bung on the um, downpipe. But for now, let's test it out and make sure everything is working well. So I'm going to turn the ignition on. And we have that flashing. Everything is good. Let's start it up. There we have the oil pressure reading. We can change that into PSI, or we can leave it at that. We have our air fuel just heating up right now, and there it is online. We have our boosts. So let me rev it up and see if everything is working good. So everything seems like it's working. Gauges look nice.
All right, so I'm gonna just wrap up everything now and I'll show you the finished product once it's done.